This is the site of a former grade crossing just south where we just were. You can see the tracks have been overgrown. They've repaved the road since the railroad once went through here. Uh, Newtown Station would be just up there, just past those vehicles and back where that uh, construction vehicle is. Um, the, this line was abandoned in the 1980s when SEPTA was taking was in the process of taking over the lines. Um, actually, it was after they had taken over the lines from uh, the private companies that had run them for many decades. Uh, you can see it's long been overgrown. This was abandoned because it did not have an electrification system uh, that they could use. And actually, in the railroad's original plans, they actually planned to extend the railroad north, but that extension was never built. And so even though this was supposed to be a temporary terminus here in Newtown, it became a permanent terminus, uh, just like Alewife Station did for the Red Line when that expansion was built. That was supposed to continue all the way into Arlington, but residents there objected to it. And so that land instead was developed into the Minuteman bike trail. Uh, this is, I just want to make the point of, this is the cost of having a purely electric fleet. And committing entirely to this is that you're going to have people who are going to be abandoned because it's just not feasible to run electrified trains in places where, as you can see from the area here, it's not as densely populated as the inner city or even parts just outside the inner city. This is more of a suburban type atmosphere um, and layout. But they got left off of the SEPTA system because it was not cost effective for SEPTA to pay money to electrify this, the, the, the line out here from where the electrification ended at the time and still does today at Fox Chase. I hope I get that, that point across. So having a system with dual mode locomotives using our existing rail cars would be far more effective because number one, if there is a problem with the catenary system, the engineers can just shift over to diesel electric mode and it also allows for the trains to reach places where it's not, maybe not totally uh, effective to have electrification, as well as if you wanted to expand in the future, we can run pilot programs without having to spend a huge amount of money to electrify the lines. Because the downside is if you electrify and it turns out there's no, there's no enough ridership there, well, now you've got an electrification system you paid for, but you're not going to use. And then someone may, mom, might make the argument, you need to take that down because not, if you're not going to maintain it, it's just going to sit there. It could become a safety hazard in high winds. And there actually were a lot of railroads who did de-electrify their lines when the diesel electric locomotive came about in the 1940s and 1950s. Uh, because this, these were primarily freight lines that had electric freight trains because there were places where steam locomotives were not able to effectively operate. And so electrified uh, freight lines actually started to show up. Um, but I just, I just want to point that out and I hope I've made myself clear about why this is not a good idea because there are places where this has already happened.